Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made a resin tray and coaster set using fall colors and my version of a dirty pour technique. First thing I'm going to do here is make sure I choose my color order and then pour the resin down the side of the silicone cup. You want to make sure that you pour it down the same side of the cup so the colors is kind of making its way to the cup. Then keep alternating your colors here so you get that nice color separation in the cup. placing it down gently here so I don't mix up my colors. Now I'm gonna set up my mat. For this design, I'm also using some gold flakes in resin here. That's gonna add a nice design and a nice elegant look. Now you see when we pour those colors, you can still see the colors are separated. So it's giving a nice dimension to that pour. going to do the same thing to our coasters here, adding our design in the, in the side of the coaster. You can really choose anything you want to do here, just whatever your design is, is up to you. This is just the way I like to make my trays look. I'm doing a second dirty pour here for the coasters. I recommend using a second cup if you're not going to be swirling the colors like I am because this pour is going to be a little bit dirtier. Finishing again here with my gold flakes in my coasters. Now we're going to start swirling. And look at how that looks. You can see all those highlights and low lights of those colors mixing together. It gives it really nice dimension. Doing the same for the coasters. Finishing it off with our heat gun to pop those bubbles. And now we're adding a nice trimming of gold flakes. This just takes it up a little level. Makes the design look nice and seamless. Now we're going to take my handles and place them in the resin while it's still wet. And that is it. This is our finished look. I love the way this came out. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've made anything similar. Subscribe for more resin tips.